Title control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here. The old release is no more. We're gonna commemorate the uh, greatest of memories by celebrating with one of the last casts here on this on this old release, so no smooth zooming just yet. Between two very interesting players who have been a bit underrepresented on this channel, and it's not for, uh, for it's not for them being bad players. Uh, quite the contrary, those people are amazing. But um, one of them is pretty much a rising star. He used to be like maybe half a year ago he was a newcomer, and then he started taking names. And I did not really catch on to that. Didn't have him on the radar until he actually defeated pretty much everyone in the big leagues at least once. And uh, I'm of course talking about Merkel here. The uh, Ang Angela Merkel's evil twin brother, I guess, who is hell-bent on world domination as the Brits, no less. So he is going to be facing off against someone who has featured this channel only once in a replay. That is very, very dear to my heart. I remember him playing against Eskimo a couple dozen shot casts back. Um, yeah, it's Radical Centrist, and I remember him for his off-meta builds where he just... It was on pit fight and it was rushing mix against against Soviets and just holding the line until, until he broke Eskimo. So that was fantastic. That was one of the funnest games I've casted. So yeah, I'm really getting my, my hopes up high here. We are on the Great Divide, of course. Or, yeah, Great Divide, not Greatest Divide. So this is the good old map produced by none other than so scared, who has produced like 90% of my favorite maps. Has some very interesting quirks to it. Most notably, it's got uh, it's huge. It's a uh, it's got lots of s stretches of land that are otherwise uninhabitable fro frozen wastelands, just like the Sibir and Tundra. But they've got some little ore patches scattered around. So this, in terms of scope, this reminds me more of like maybe a StarCraft map than an actual open array map. So this is always one where you need to pay attention to your flanks, and you honestly you'd rather be inclined to go the big macro game than going for a small micro skirmishes. So I'm expecting a long drawn out game and this is going to be Morkel taking a double engineer build to the oil derricks i mean it's worth it not so much if you have uh if you have single single use capture for engineers but if you don't then double engineer is quite viable it's like 800 to cross the bridge and then get two derricks and uh, a hospital to boot you know it's just there that's just present okay so this is going to be double ref into war factory for Morkel. Lots of infantry already out, a couple rocket soldiers here and there scattered about, and a war factory rush for Radical, who has opted for an early flag truck. Gonna be heading out, out to just harass a little. That is gonna meet a juicy target. There is three rocket soldiers. By the way, didn't mention it in the top left, we're seeing it on the radar. There is definitely some capturing going on here as well. Very worthwhile getting a hold of the first rocket soldier. Ooh, he's trying to angle it in such a way that he gets the other one as well. Nice! And the medic is just a bit too late. That was too late to the party, the medic. Yeah. Just not not keeping with, in accordance to his timings. And as a result, losing three rocket soldiers in the early game. That was, that was the most vulnerable part of Morkel's composition. And he just, he just found it. Just went in there. Ranger is going to scouting run as well. Big macro time here for Radical. He's on five harvesters, six now. Jeez Louise. And he opted not to take the gems first. That is also an interesting choice, but I guess it makes sense because gems don't regenerate all that fast so as soon as the initial patch of gems is harvested off, it doesn't yield you that much income anymore. So it's kind of an early early game boost that you can save up until later, if you're so inclined. And you're gonna start floating anyway with uh, with this many harvesters. Lots of infantry strewn about here. Yeah, no rockets in the composition for Morkel right now because it lost this in initial three. That's nasty. And Radical is, f I guess, feigning some aggression, trying to elicit a response here. He's just going in with a flag truck and an empty APC. That's not very scary. But it could... Oh, it could run over the medics here. <laughs> Decides to block. Okay. Okay. Opting to go, go for the block here. Ranger getting low. Good vehicle micro on both sides. And this is going to mean traffic congest congestion. This is going to be a bit annoying for, for Mortal right there. Losing a lot of income. Flag truck probably can't stay and block the refinery too. Nope. Decides to book it. He could have tried running over the medics, but at the end of the day, he went, he got out just in time and just cost Morkel a lot of time. That's all he did. Just delay the income by a little bit. Very good. So, here we've got the double derricks plus the hospital captured. Yeah, <laughs> Morkel forgot about his hospital, but uh, that's nothing too impactful, to be honest. 
this little thing here. All it does is obstruct your, your field of view by giving all of your infantry this little healing icon. It's a net negative, I guess. Ooh! Radical revealed his MCV move out there by crushing the fence. That's always against an attentive player. That's always kind of risky. Sort of iffy. And super good macro here for Morkel, who is up to double War Factory and a second construction yard already. So very early double factory. Both have retained all of their scout vehicles. That's very good. The Tesla coil comes in, but at a very inopportune moment. Oh! Gets reeled by the by the Ranger there. I think that... Ooh, did I, yeah, I sped it up accidentally. Whoops. My bad. Okay, we're back to 100 percento. Very defensive formation right there. The the ore truck survives, honestly, thanks to the blunder with the power. He didn't have the power meter uh, on his on his radar, so he didn't actually realize that he would go into low power mode by deploying the Tesla. He could easily wipe the forward command and then get the refinery to boot. That would be very smart. Yeah, it's going for it right now. There is a still a force waiting in the wings. That's going to be the first big engagement of the game. Uh, a wall of two Teslas is going to probably halt the advance. Yeah, yeah. That's going to stifle the advance for good. Let's gonna put an end to that here. All the tanks are down. The other se the other set of tanks has been taken the scenic route. Ooh, blocked by their own infantry. That's kind of nasty. So as it stands, I think Radical has enough or more than enough forces to push through, especially with three now three unimpeded Tesla coils. Yikes. Yeah, that's gonna sting a little. Just a little zap. Gonna give him the zap tap here. Those harvesters are forfeit. He needs to get them out of dodge right now. Fortunately for him, Radical is focusing down the forward command in order to prevent more defenses from springing up. You know, it's a, it's like a pop-up store. Command and Conquer is like, is like the RTS pop-up store, except, except it's Tesla coils every single time. <laughs> That's kind of how Soviets work. Yeah, a wall of Teslas is starting to appear here. That is not something I'm surprised by. He retained one of the tanks as well, so really good unit preservation by, by Radical. And Morkel with his double War Factory can at least get bolster his tank numbers in a very rapid succession. He's also uh, secured the top middle for himself. So he's got the Harvesters transferred. Uh, that's the wrong patch. That is going to be a very, very saturated patch with seven Harvesters and one mine. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, but still, he should transfer like three or four of them up north. <laughs> but it's fine, he's still got his eco running. And what about the eco of Radical? I think, yeah, it's decent. He didn't take his right-hand side just yet. He was content just denying the right-hand side to... to, uh, to Morkel. It's like, is that the German war machinery coming to a halt, huh? No, nope. Oh, again, low power. Very inopportune time again. But the rockets at least make short work of the tank. That is one harvester being lost for Radical. I think he's got so many left, though. We're hearing some more gunfights going on. Oops. That one rifleman single-handedly wiped an entire squad. So with that out of the way, that's gonna lose Radical a refinery. Probably his FCOM as well. Gonna be a bit annoying. He can't... Does he have a de defense lined up? Almost. Oh, he could go... Engineer could have gone inside and probably stalled for long enough to deploy another base defense. But yeah, it's really hard to keep track of that all the time. He's trying to get some tanks into the flank. I mean, for all I care, shave off some harvesters. There's like eight harvesters here in the north end side of the map. Please. Please, sir. <laughs> he doesn't need those harvesters. Morkel's got the economy set up. Alright. Harvester survive. Uh, tank survive for now. Harvester 1 goes down. That's not too bad. No signs of tier tier 2 just yet for anyone. And lots of medium tanks starting to appear. This little force in the wings. Ooh, he actually got a, the ore truck on the gem mines as well. Didn't take notice of that. But with all that out of the way, Radical Centrist still hasn't taken his right hand side. There is going to be a push onto the Tesla wall. Maybe Radical could turn on the Teslas. Yeah, really good with the Tesla micro there. Switching them on and off as he needs. That's pretty good. At the end of the day, that's only medium, so yeah, he can't be, he can't push into all of this infantry here. Also, probably gonna wipe the harvester off of Morkel. Another one bites the dust. That is gonna settle 
after the dust is sealed, that's gonna leave us with a 9 harvester over 8 harvester economy. Yeah, decent. Oh, Raided Ohm, I see a Raided Ohm in the production queue for Morkel. So Radical doesn't feel confident enough to take up just yet. Oh, by the way, something I wanted to mention. There is a new shoutcaster for Open Array. His name is Caution. So he's been uh, starting out in the academy and he's been uh, casting games here and there. I, I guess he's going to ramp up the production very soon. That's what, it, what he promised. So check him out on YouTube. I, I don't know. I think he also has a Twitch because from what I've read, he's he was streaming with Bane. So just with Bane as a coach. So that's pretty cool. Give him a... Yeah, g give him a subscription to the channel as well, if you're into open array content. Ah, oh, that's a very defensive formation here, Radical Centrist. Just pulling the tanks out front, very good. And also, um, he's not concentrating his forces into one, that's very smart. He's instead opted for a concave. That is something I see very much underutilized, but it's so important. Ah, Morkel taking a heavy. Ah, oh, that's your dream as allies. Taking heavies, patching them back up. It's just so good. Gives you so much bang for your buck. Okay, that's a medium as well recovered. That's just gonna bolster your tank forces. As you can see, like, <laughs> he's almost outnumbering them despite having lost the previous engagement. Well, radar tech would be really good right now. That is a perfect concave, but I still, I still think there is so much infantry. Core for Morkel and no AoE weapons. So I think Morkel is gonna be able to pull through, is he? Nope, it's not. Also the rocket density, just uh, something I, I was observing on, like, the rocket density is crazy. So yeah, how's it going with in with regards to Corona in your country, with us? We're finally starting to, to open up again and, and public life is starting to re-emerge. We're <laughs> re-emerging from the vaults as a, you know, just like in Fallout. Everyone has their own vault to, to do some experiments in. Ooh, double helipad, okay. So more called definite... That is blue pips. Okay, so spies. Three spies in there. I'm not sure if Radical is gonna see this one coming. Ah, uh, uh, that's not a good spot to land. That's in Tesla right. He was trying so hard. He thought he could maybe survive the Tesla zap. Oh, unlucky. Okay, that was an attempt. Those spies didn't connect. Uh, double war factory for now, yeah, and the Raider Dome is in a very exposed location. If he ever loses this forward position, yikes. Uh-oh. The communist conga line. You don't want to engage with this conga line. Yeah, yeah, he's thinking twice of it. He's uh, thinking better of it. Reassigning his forces there to a better concave. <laughs> that is just a standoff. Look at this. This is the, the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. Jeez. DMC pushing in right now. Uh, the... Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Leaving some stragglers behind. True Kim Jong-un style. Ouch. Ooh, this MCV very inflated, but... Yeah, manages to finally get out of dodge. Didn't take too much damage. No focus fire coming down from Morkel. Very defensive position, but I doubt he's gonna be able to hold, even with the Tesla Quills. There's just too much infantry. And if there is one thing that Tesla Quills are not very good against, it's mass... Uh, mass uh, the Tesla Quills are not very good against his mass infantry. So they, they are strictly single target. So... It takes him a lot of time to pick up those like, rockets. And you can't focus fire on all of them. Especially not with the graphics being this... Uh, this compact. Right? <laughs> Flag track going for a little scouting run. That was a very valiant effort. This was a very, very forward harvester, yeah. Three harvesters last year, what a graveyard. You can't even push into this anymore because all the, all the vehicle wrecks are blocking the... Uh, they're just obstructing the way. Huh, right hand side has finally been taken here. But it, it appears to like crystallize this game is crystallizing into a slight advantage for for Morkel right there. Yes, yeah, 70k over 56k. That is significant. Radical has a lot of bank on float though. How how does he want to deal with the mass medium tanks? There is a solid infantry core. I don't think he can hold his own base right now. Main base is probably gonna be forfeit. But Morkel is broke. That's the, the one saving grace here. A couple tanks are being shaved off, but three Tesla quills not gonna stand in the wake of this brutal assault. Oh man. The main base is gonna get dislodged. Is there any action on the southern fronts? Nope. 
nothing happening right there. What do we have here? I mean, he's just fighting on this screen. Oh, it's looking a bit bleak for Radical Centrist. This might be the end of it. Unless he can leverage his 11k bank into some actual army assets. <laughs> then he might have a fighting chance. The forces are getting thinned out for Morkel. Let's see. Is he gonna lose his... No, he's not gonna lose his main base. Okay. So he holds on. By a... Yeah, by a sliver. But he holds on regardless. Loses a lot of econ in the process. Ooh, 50 APM for both players. That's solid. Wait. Morkel's still at 10 harvesters. Radical Center is still at 8 harvesters. What the hell? They have not lost any econ at all. They just reproduced, I guess, in the south. Yeah, that's why. 5 harvesters on 2 patches. Uh -huh. War Factory getting critically low, getting taken out. Is there another one? No! No War Factory for the time being. That sucks. He's got the Raider though. Alright, and he's got Triple Conyard. Ooh, I didn't notice he built the third one. Okay, so this is gonna get super spicy. Oh, okay, he deployed the Raider Dome in a very exposed location. This is in danger of being pushed in very momentarily. So the airfield may be saving grace. We have seen him ooh, work wonders. Work miracles with uh, MiG aircraft against Eskimo, from what I recall. Okay, Yaks are starting to come on the queue. I mean, he doesn't have the cash for tier 3, so... He does have the cash maybe, but not the time. 7k flow tier, starting to reduce that right now. Taking out a refinery here, maybe going up north would be the best move, it's pretty unprotected. And now going into flame towers rather than tesla quills, that's probably for the better. And he should also mix in a couple V2s, like one or two, maybe three V2s, alright. Here's the vehicle queue back. Oh, also keep in mind, this is the old release. Yaks are lethal here. I love just holding shift and seeing all the move commands. Yeah, just put it out there. Uh, Yaks are murder machines in this patch. It, it got remedied uh, in the subsequent release that came out a week ago. But yeah... Ooh, he found the weak, unprotected underbelly here. That is gonna be at least pushing away the harvesters for now. If not, dislodge everything. Alright, 17, almost 18 minutes and we still can't call the victor. These Tesla coils are gonna be very good. Oops. Yuck, going down. These Tesla coils are gonna be super useful. Yeah, Black Hawks do not want to engage into... No, never mind. They just found a nice pass over while the, <laughs> the infantry were occupied. One of them goes down, but that's fine. Yeah, he retained his eco. That's really big for Morkel. Who's already been struggling. Wait, Radical depleted. He managed to burn through 7k. He burned through 7k in the span of like two minutes. That is impressive. That is some really uh, amazing spending habits. You might want to have that checked with your financial therapist. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's starting to look good again here for, for Radical Centrist on the Northern Front. He's got the line of sight advantage, he's got the V2 rocket launchers, he can start chipping away at defenses. There's no signs, well, there's some artilleries for Radical. He could have built, uh, for Morkel, he could have built them ages ago, but he just opted out of artilleries, I guess. Strict, uh, no, uh, no rush 20 strategies, not being employed by Morkel. He wants to go face to face. Not hide behind cowardly artilleries and anti-air gun lines. That is very commendable. One of the Yaks is being dispatched to deal with this. There's n oh, there's not even a base here. But trip, triple war factory. Hmm. Morkel knows what's up. That's an armor build. He's gonna be transitioning into into heavy armor. Like committing super hot. <laughs> Lining up the shot, not finding it. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Taking a lot of fire as the Konyat, but survives. And just like that, it's out of there. Is there anything to close the gap? Yuck, right now, nope. Still not coming out, and he doesn't have money for another one. Oh! Oh! Is this gonna be it? He's gonna line it up. Anti-air gun might take it out though. Ooh! Salvo gets it, and the crash would have gotten it anyway. Okay, very good. That is very important for Radical. So he's gonna manage to push through. Push through. Also mixing in some flavors. That could have gone way worse. The friendly fire... The V2 rockets don't discriminate. They just... They're very communist in that regard. They don't discriminate, they just kill everything equally. Alright. This tank didn't find much. Oh, by the way. Just 
this ore patch. You should take it, my friend. It's, it's a gift from the open array guards bestowed upon you. Oh, the V2s are going to be so impactful. He can't play defense against this. With a Yak and V2 combo, I, I think he's going to dislodge this position. There is no way he can hold. Morkel is going to be in a, in a tough spot unless he manages to find a good tank flank. Maybe get these harvesters. Ooh, that would be very juicy as well. Okay, finally this patch has been taken. Yeah! <laughs> Morkel immediately getting the hell out of dodge with his infantry. Doesn't want to deal with this shit. Very understandably so. He doesn't have the aircraft right now, and nothing is on the build queue either. He doesn't have a single Blackhawk. I mean, honestly, Blackhawks are high risk anyway, because the flag tracks can poke them away before you before your Blackhawks even connect. So it's really hard to get that, that right. It's not with Yaks, because, like, Yaks, because with Yaks you can just dive bomb. And it doesn't matter, even if you don't hit your target with the main guns, the crash can still take them out easily. Okay, so instead he's going for the main base, but that's relatively defended. Asterisk. I mean... It's probably still gonna get pushed in. But the army can rotate, and uh, especially those 4v2s are looking mighty scary right now against the infantry army. Okay, so very shrewd move from Morkel. He's splitting his forces up. That is super smart. That is a move that... Uh, that is a serious pro-gamer move right there. Instead of committing everything into a, an attack onto the base uh, from one angle, He's going for both angles at once. That just means it's gonna split up the forces, it's gonna split up the attention, and it's gonna make it almost impossible for radical centrists' forces to rotate in time. That is super, ama super amazing play, okay? Conyard surviving! Ooh, that's big. Again, no aircraft means that there is nothing to dive this. The flamers are making work. They are, ooh, they're doing some serious heavy lifting. They're making some miracles work right here. Man, just dispatching of the infantry. One rocket at a time. Ooh, this tank survives. Man, that's a crazy game. I really love this. This is just how I imagined this would have panned out. Morkel's construction yard is taken under siege, but no more ammo in the base, so it's gonna get away scot free for now. Oh, wait. He was not on attack move. Uh oh. You're gonna lose lots of infantry there, Radical. Okay. Hits the stop key. There has been a para drop. Ah, onto the right hand side mines. Only one camo pillbox. Not enough to stop stem the tide. Not enough to stop this Soviet army. The Reg are, go are gonna be crushing through here. That's right. Those four mediums can't save you right now. Not against infantry. At least this guy- Ooh, this guy managed to trade for some value. Going value town. Four V2 launchers, still alive. Still left unchecked. Okay, finally. I, I think that's gonna be enough. Yeah, four mediums. Lots of infantry, healthy core. That's gonna be enough. Not if those- Not if those V2 hits start coming in, coming in fast and loose like this here. Ooh, this time the focus fire wasn't as good. He's trying to save those two V2s. Medium tanks for now have forgotten about it. The, they have a very short uh, attention span. It's like a goldfish. Medium tanks are fish confirmed here. All right, he lost a couple harvesters, but that's nothing you you can't replace. As long as you, you've got the real estate, you can always replace those harvesters. And the V2s are still alive. Look, they are veteran C2. That really does matter because it also affects the reload delay. And what is that? I think 15% reload delay. A good chunk percentage uh, percentage increase in, in burst damage as well. So that just makes them really scary. If those survive and he doesn't find them with the helicopters, I think they might be able to like two tap a tech structure. Let's see. Maybe it's gonna maybe he's just gonna leave them here as well. <laughs> nice early V2 retirement. Ooh, hello, we've got a couple more spies loaded in. He didn't find any disguises though. He doesn't have a scout, yeah. Too strapped for cash to really go for a really go for a scouting run with a black hawk or something. Right, triple Tesla plus those flame towers, a wall of flame just denying the advance here. No sir. That is a the no you of of infantry engagements. Yeah, you can't you can't push into this. Right hand side, losing eh, what did he kill there? 
nothing too critical. I think that was just a pass on the infantry. Sounded like it, at least. Okay, Radical Sentry is redeploying his MCV in a very forward location, starting to get aggressive with it. Starting to get really jiggy with it. Yeah, but Radical has got enough armor. I mean, that's that's what a 4 War Factory build now can do for you. Maxed out production speed, medium tanks, armas, medium tanks galore. Are gonna be able to run down your MCV, are gonna be able to burst through Tesla coils if there is no walls involved. That is honestly something that uh, Radical Centrist, I would advise him uh, to to implement as well. Ooh, B2's taking lovely shots here. So if you do this mass Tesla play, it just gets so amplified so much with good wall placement. Because then you can't ever engage with medium tanks. It doesn't matter how high the numbers are. Because walls can always be replaced in a matter of like 3 seconds. Alright, going for an infantry pass. One going down. Wow! Taking a significant chunk of health out of the conyard. More harvesters being forced off from Murklor. Forced to retire early. Retire early in a very permanent way, that is. Alright. Some forces still left in the north. I don't think he can push into two Teslas. And again, that just pl feeds back into Morkel losing his radar dome, thus being forced into not building helicopters. Oh wait. No, he does have one helipad. I missed that. Because you don't actually need the tech prerequisite. You don't need a radar dome to build aircraft as long as you have the helipad. You just need a radar dome to build helipads. Oh, and he has rebuilt it anyway. Right, fair enough. Morkel again has managed to squeeze out a significant tank army. How is he doing it? How does this man keep doing it? Alright, lots of yaks though, and they're armed. The ammo bays are full. He's just waiting. Yeah, That was decent, but he wasted most of his... Okay. He had nothing in him for another pass. Now it's pretty good, because it killed all the infantry. Yeah, it was very good. I take that back. Very good. Uh, uh, Teslas everywhere. Teslas, 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 Teslas. Hey, Doc. I heard you like Teslas. So we'll put some Teslas in your Teslas. Oh, doesn't get the service depot either. Oh, uh, those, yeah. Those V2s have been largely forgotten about. Could have easily sniped the Radar Dome or maybe a refinery. That's fine. Radical really playing his heart out here. His unit preservation has been quite good, I have to say. He managed to sneak this conyard here, what? Must have gone over the north end route, I missed that. That is a cheeky sneaky conyard. So that is gonna tell Morkel, nope. This is no more your, uh, no longer your real estate. So all the ore patches are depleted, we're just closing in onto the hyper late game where everyone is broke and everything just becomes a perpetual struggle for money. So the uh, military industrial complex is no longer able to sustain itself there. Ooh, lovely power drop. That is gonna be another in uh, eco line wipe. So Morkel's position, despite him having such a such a staggering lead in the mid game, Morkel's position is getting increasingly compacted. So he really needs. Ooh, that is a spy. Yes, hello. I'm spy. Uh, I'm totally not spy. Ah, oh, power down. Oh my goodness, that is the perfect timing. The golden spy moment. Fucking James Bond style right there. Ooh, right into the power lines. That's gonna sting. Yeah, he's gonna be able to dispatch of like, what was that, five or six Tesla coils. Ooh, Conyard is gonna go down as well. No doubt about it. And he brought his own Conyard. Wouldn't be a party without your own Conyard. Bring your own. Oh, but the retaliation is swift. Could kill this. Easily. Oh, nope, nope. Still on move command. Radical seems to like his move commands. Okay. The V2 launchers found a couple good snipes. They found a snipe on the refinery at least. Thus denying gem income. That's big. Gem welfare is strong in this game. Ooh. Wait, those... Oh, they had empty ammo base. He's landing them. Excuse me? What is he doing right there? <laughs> what is this? By the way, uh, in case you're wondering because I got some questions, you do that with the ALT key. Uh, you select your helicopters, press the ALT key and uh, move them to an obstructed tile. 
Then they land. Same for transport helicopters, really. You can't do it with aircraft, though. They need to land on... Uh, they need to land on airfields. But helicopters can. Man, the flamer value is insane! I really enjoy how he, mix how he mixes in flamers every now and then. Just makes it so much punchier against infantry blobs. It's usually a matter of cost efficiency, but... If your opponent is so, sometimes so heavily reliant on those infantry blobs pushing forward, it can be really good. Like, as a defensive... Flamers are better on the defense than on the offense, obviously. For very apparent reasons. But if you can get them into nice positions where your opponent's infantry is going to run into you, then flamers can ups be absolute gold. Ooh, most of the Blackhawks falling out of the skies. Honestly, we've seen such a meta shift with Black Blackhawks. I remember when they were still called Heinz back in my day. No, but I remember when they were like all the meta. And that was when all the anti-air options available were weaker. And it was not as easy to acquire targets on them. Uh, and now? Man. I don't see Blackhawks doing that much anymore. Every game I'm seeing, uh, that I'm seeing people build mass Blackhawks, they usually get taken out before they can inflict too much structural damage. And they used to be my go-to unit. I used to be like, one of, one of the trademark helicopter guys. But yeah, so they've fallen on hard times. Oh, tier 3. Also, the, the pass was absolutely insane. Oh, gonna take out a Carnyard as well. Just this cherry on top. Cherry on top, the shit cake for Morkel. Man, Morkel is compressed into one base now. Calling GG! Yeah, can't fault him for that. Man, both playing their hearts out. Really gotta say, gotta commend Morkel for just being constantly improving and... And then, in the end, ultimately taking names off of pro players. Taking names off the big, uh, off the big uh, cheese, I guess, of open array. And Radical Centrist, yeah, just really well played. Just holding on until his Raider Dome came online. And then as soon as there was V2s and he sniped the enemy Raider Dome, there was just no recourse. Because V2s, when they're nestled behind behind your forces, are just lethal. You can't really do that with artillery because Soviets, they can dive bomb you with the Yaks. As we've seen, like, there was an attempt from Morkel to go for artilleries and push away this this uh, forward base here. And one Yak pass was all it, was all it took. That's how easy it is to dislodge them. Whereas as allies, it's super hard to get rid of V2s. Not only is their health pool higher, uh, but also you can't really dive bomb with uh, with Black Hawks the way you can with Yaks. So no one tapping them, and this just makes it infinitely harder to. You basically need your own artillery, and you need to need to get some good hits in. Is uh, one of the only ways, or you need to find flanks with uh, light tanks. But you know how light tanks work. That is always a risky proposition. So yeah, great game. I'm looking forward to seeing more of those two players. Looking forward to seeing more of those of this map as well. And looking forward to seeing more of tier 3. Plus, we're probably gonna transition to the next, uh, to the new release in one of the upcoming casts. So prepare for seamless zooming. I'm already preemptively uh, scrolling the mouse wheel, but it's not having any effect right now. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Five aces, out. Battle control. Terminated.